She is the undisputed queen of soul. But to 16-year-old Grace Franklin, what did you call her? I just called her grandma. You called her grandma? Yeah. For Grace, born and raised in Detroit, weekly visits with grandma were a staple growing up. And just like watching TV sometimes, a lot of times we would watch Family Feud. Family Feud's a good show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> would she play along? Yes. And you may not be surprised to learn the queen of soul was also the queen of soul food. What was your favorite dish? Probably her macaroni. Her really? macaroni was so good. Did she try and teach you? Try and show you? A little bit, but... It wasn't very good. <laughs> Cooking skills aside, Grace got a lot from her grandma, her sense of style, love of family, but perhaps most notably, a soul for singing. Her favorite stage is right here at New Bethel Baptist Church in Detroit, the very place where Aretha Franklin famously got her start. She was about your age when people really started taking notice of her. Is it almost surreal to you to be singing in the same place where she was? It's crazy to think that um, a lot of the same people that were with her when she was younger in the same church are watching me now. Do you have a favorite song of your grandmother's overall? Don't Play That Song is definitely one of my favorites that we used to sing together. I love uh, how she throws her voice in it. It's so amazing. When you listen to her music, how does she inspire you? The way that she can change any song to make it her own. So you learned a lot from her. Yeah. Just by watching her. Mm -hmm. Grace recently took those lessons to American Idol singing one of her grandma's classics. Stop trying to be someone you're not. Not enough to get her to the next round, but a chance to take yet another note from the queen herself. When you get up and when you sing here where your grandmother got her start, do you feel her presence with you? I feel her presence with me anytime I perform. I always think of how she used to prepare in her dressing room and just her words of encouragement whenever me and my siblings ever perform. To always remember that God is with you on stage and that whatever happens, you know that you're great. But the lessons Grace holds most dear came off the stage, like standing up for what you believe in. She was very involved in the civil rights movement. She was very involved, especially when Black Lives Matter uh, came up again in 2014. And to live and love fiercely. She was very compassionate, and I don't feel like a lot of people got to see that side of her very often. She always cared a lot about the people around her, and her love was just very strong. Guys, it was just so much fun to meet her, to learn those things about her grandmother. Who knew that she loved watching Family Feud? And I loved hearing Grace sing the words to Ain't No Way. It was just so beautiful. Now, it's not just Grace and her family. She actually has an older sister who is currently a music major at Howard University. And Grace is performing with the Detroit Youth Choir. They're set to hit Carnegie Hall later this summer, wow. guys. Oh, wow. What a gorgeous yeah. voice. Incredible. Blaine, you got to tell Grace that she has an open invitation. It's Carson, by the way, to come on to The Voice. Yeah. <laughs> And right. I, I have a feeling that she has more than enough <laughs> oh, yeah. to do well there. Yeah. Uh, we, we would love she to would have love her. She would love to hear that. I will tell her right Please now. Please tell her. Absolutely. Absolutely. going to find her. Thanks, Blaine. Thank you. Thank That's you, okay. Blaine. Sweet. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.